guys, welcome to Surma 11, your source of Pokemon news. Yeah, people, different introduction. So it was expected that they would reveal some more news on this. Um, people, you really do have to wait. If they announce something in Japan or something gets leaked in the Coral Coral magazine, we'll definitely get a trailer in English or maybe just um, some kind of graphic on it. They've been doing this for X and Y, and I mean, I'm, I'm pretty glad I waited just because of the fact that even more was announced. So, so this week we've got some very interesting news in the fact that Pokemon can go past stage 3, or in Absol's case, stage 1 evolutions, and I think that's pretty cool. We also have a new gym leader called Corina. Is, is that how you... Uh, pronounce it because it has a K, it has two R's. <laughs> I don't know if that makes no, another sound. Uh, Karina, I guess. I have a friend with that name. So, Karina, she appears to be the fighting gym leader. She knows about the Mega Evolutions and she's on roller skates. And perhaps she will give you uh, a badge, maybe a Mega Stone and roller skates. Who knows? I think they said that the Mega Stone won't actually be obtainable in the game, which kind of sucks because it looks the Mega Evolutions are just so cool. But I don't know what they're doing with that. And I think I saw the bike in a trailer. Yeah, the bike might be still there. So they have the bike, they have roller skates, and they have Pokemon that you can ride on. So that's pretty cool. And yeah. I got the whole theory about her being the fighting gym leader. I think I got that from Bulbapedia. And then if you take a look at the trailer, there's a fist in the background behind her. So we have like fighting, rock, electric. Um, who was the first gym leader? Oh, a bug gym leader. And yeah, the bug gym leader. After the this news that came out, the bug gym leader is going to be easy. And then we have Denine or Didi. DDN? DDN? That would be awesome if I got it right. DDN? It's your classic Pikachu type Pokemon that we get in every region. Uh, region 1, Kanto, Pikachu, Region 2, Johto, Pichu? Yeah, Pichu is a Johto one. Region 3, Plusle and Maiman. Region 4, Pachirisu. Pachirisu? Yeah. Region 5, uh, did we get one last region? I can't think of it. Uh, it oh yeah, it used it flied. Oh dang, I can't think of the name. Imalga, Imalga, because you, you're gonna remember it. Uh, you have Iris kind of shouting it, and you know Iris's voice actor in English kind of shouting it. Imalga, go. <laughs> um. So yeah, this Pokemon's gonna be electric slash fairy. So it's pretty cool that they're incorporating the fairy type more into this. By the way, I don't really know if I uh, said this in the last Pokemon News video, but the dark type appears to be that it, it appears that it might be the opposite of the fairy type, just because of the fact that uh, I think Uvatol is dark and then Xerneas is fairy, something like that. And then we have Bunnel, Bunnelby. It's a normal type, and it's a bunny. It kind of looks like it could be used in an advertisement for hot chocolate. Yeah, I'd like that. So, when it evolves, I'm guessing it, it'll get a rock or a ground type to be added to it, just because, I mean, it has, it, it looks like it has, like, ground-like qualities on its body, and it can use dig, so, I know, like, not every ground or rock type Pokemon can just use dig, but I think it'll gain ground or rock as a second type after it evolves. And then we have Skiddo. It was in an early trailer. It was in an earlier tra trailer and um a lot of people caught on to this. And that's what I really love about the internet. People catch stuff and they saw this in the trailer and they're like, what the heck is this? <laughs> and then people started drawing artwork on it. I was like, these guys are so awesome. It's, uh, it's the pre-evolution of Go-Goat. And yes, it can jump over ledges. I didn't really see it, uh, that in the trailer, but I saw a screenshot of it online. So I'm guessing it's gonna be 
I'm guessing that's legit. But it's time for the best part of the news. Mega Evolution. Time to Digivolve. Now, with every new Pokemon news announcement, the fans are kind of split, but who really cares about those haters and the people that are really just stuck on their nostalgia and they just can't seem to care about anything except the original games? I mean, I like this. I'm glad they're doing something way different, but something tells me these guys will be banned in, like, competitions. I'm talking about, like, competitions online, and then... The, cause the evolutions boost stats, and that makes them kind of dangerous. So, uh, let me see if I had anything else to add on that. Yeah, I, I saw this comment where people were like, maybe they should do something different with Pokemon, and then you have someone saying after they see the news, they're like, ew, why they do something different? Um. The Pokemon getting Mega Evolutions so far are Blaziken, Mewtwo, Ampharos, Mawel, and Lucario. And I already have a Blaziken from Pokemon Emerald. And I think it's on, um, I think I have it on Gold and Silver. Uh, so, but yeah, Gold and Silver, what is that? Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I have it on Soul Silver. And then I think I might have it on Black or White or something. So I can probably bring it over to X and Y if they actually made that system where you can bring your Pokemon over. I'm not too sure if they're doing that. And let me see what else. I'm guessing only some starters, maybe only Torchic, will be getting this evolution. I was thinking that maybe every Poke every starter would get it, but you know that kind of doesn't make any sense. And they also said that not every Pokemon will be getting a Mega Evolution. And Torchic will be given out on October 12th, which is, which is the launch day of the games. So, I don't really know if you guys want to play your games in GameStop and then get your Torchic. I don't even know if I want to get a Torchic. Just because they just because of the fact that they're giving it out on the same day. That's, that's some stupid stuff. <laughs> uh, but, make evolutions only occur in battle. So, yeah, I, I don't know. It's kind of good and kind of bad. I would like to see the new form just incorporated into the whole thing, but I can see, you know, you got to try something different. You can't just be like, oh, we can go past stage three or stage one or stage two now, depending on the Pokemon. But Torchic has to join my X and Y team. I know it's an old Pokemon, but I definitely need it. So I might get it. I might. I don't know. I feel very tempted. And maybe Ash could get one too in the anime. I'm not sure, but I'm guessing Ash might will probably get all three starters. That's how it usually works. And I was thinking about getting multiple starters because I know I can have someone trade the starters to me. Because you know people are going to get the games early. They're going to beat the game. They're going to get it like a day early and beat it and leak everything. But I, I don't think I need anything. I think I'll just do it on my own. So I'll have chest bed and I, may, I might have a Torchic, which will help in the first gym. And it's going to be so messed up if I start giving Torchic more attention than Chespin. Because you know the starters usually get most attention. Well, in my teams, the starters usually get the most attention. But back to the news. I'm really sorry. I sound so sick. Like, I know I always say that as soon as I wake up and I make a video. And then I listen to the audio and I don't sound sick at all. But in my head, or whatever, me just listening to it, I sound sick. So EV stats can now be seen on a meter type of thing, but we still don't have a direct way of seeing seeing them. It's more like uh, you know there's a meter, and then you have the different stats around around it, and the meter kind of goes in whichever direction has the most, and then not not like that, but it's it kind of goes in a direction of how much you have. So I don't know if you have like a few attack EVs, so it's gonna be low, but you have a lot of HP EV, it's gonna be it's gonna be high going towards the HP. If that makes any sense. I might have a picture up. So let's talk about the Mega Evolutions. I think Absol looks great. It has Angel and Demon Wings now. Ampharos has long hair, a long tail, and a, and with white hair. That's that one was kind of kind of dumb. It looks like a wig. And when I was just looking at it, I was like, this is the worst one. And if I remember correctly, Ampharos isn't the best Pokemon. 
I had one on my team in gold in um soul silver and it kind of sucked. So I'm guessing you know they'll, they'll make it a little bit better. And then Blaziken and Lucario look the best in my opinion. I'm loving the red and black on Blaziken, and Blaziken has like a slimmer figure. If you look at the trailer, there's a DNA symbol above the Pokemon before they evolve. So I think it's kind of like adapting by evolution so that you can win battles. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm getting from it. Lucario looks okay. I mean, a lot of people are saying Lucario looks awesome. But they kind of just added red and they changed up the eyes a little bit. I think it's really it's a really good idea to go look at the look at the Mega Evolutions and look at them in detail. They have like the official Ken Sugimori or Sugami I, I forgot his name. If they have his official artwork out, I know you know there's I know you know what I know there's artwork like in the Coral Coral magazines, but that doesn't really do it justice. If you just have like the the regular art of the Pokemon. You can tell there there are differences between it and its normal form. And then Mawile, it has a dress and a bigger mouth. Like, the mouth is huge. And then there's a theory that Mewtwo and Lucario haven't been confirmed in Smash Bros. yet because they have the new X and Y forms, which is... That sounds really awesome. And I was kind of expecting them to add someone, someone from 5th generation, maybe Zoroark. Because Zoroark was, like, the first Pokemon shown, I think. But that would be cool. And I'm, I'm guessing I'm at 10 minutes. No, I'm at 11. Okay, uh, one more thing. And I get to talk about this because no one else uh, made a video this late. Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan, Mega Kangaskhan was confirmed. This is at the Pokemon tournament thing, whatever. Um, super hard battle is. <laughs> so... Ooh, there's a Mario and Luigi Dream Team demo on the eShop. I'm sorry, I don't know Facebook. Uh, Mega Kangaskhan. So Kangaskhan, Mega Evolves. Um, it's no, it's not really a big deal. Just the the fact that the baby comes out. And by the way, the Mega Evolutions gain new abilities, new types, and stuff like that. I think. I'm not sure if they can change existing types because people were wondering. Oh, maybe Charizard will have a mega form, and then he can finally become a dragon type. I'm like, this is the stupidest theory ever. Oh, Charizard looks like a dragon, so he has to be a dragon. Is dragon not even a... I'm not even going to go there. So I, I might be wrong. But, no, I'm going to look that up. <laughs> uh, I probably sound really weird right now. Yeah, but the baby comes out, looks a little bit bigger. Um... Kangaskhan hits the Pokemon, and then um, the baby hits it, but it's a weaker attack. But it is a good ability, and I've seen some people saying that it might be dangerous. I, I don't really know. I don't have a, an opinion on that one. It's like, uh, whatever. And I think that's all the information that was announced. I would like to learn a little bit of, like, I, would, I can't talk. I would like to learn a little bit about the story, just saying. I, th I think Dragon type. Dragon Knight is a flying type, isn't it? I'm, I'm just trying to be just be completely real here. No, this is part dragon. I don't know. I was trying to think of a Pokemon that looks like something that it's not. Like, I don't know, maybe I was thinking Gyarados, because Gyarados is water slash flying, I believe. So, yeah, there's your Pokemon. Because I was trying to prove a point that, you know, just because Charizard might look like a dragon or something doesn't mean that it has to be a dragon type. But, you know... This video is all over the place. Anyways, guys, if I didn't say already, school starts tomorrow, so the videos are going to be maybe done for, like, a while. I, I got through a few of my video theories, but I didn't get through all of them. The main problem is that I'm doing something for this school year, and I probably won't be able to make a video like, oh, I, I came home, and then now I can make a video. No, I can't really do that anymore. So they might be exclusive to the weekends, and I usually have to find time when no one's at home or everyone's quiet so I can make a video. Just saying. I might be doing a Hunter Hunter or Attack on Time review. I don't know. I might or might not. Whatever. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff is in the description. Everything else is in the description. Previous videos that um, 
yeah, there's just previous topics and stuff. It seems like a lot of people check out my channel when I make less videos, which is stupid, but I don't know what's going on. But some of my videos don't have enough views, so you should check those out. Leave a comment. I care more about comments than video uh, than views, so I would like a lot of comments. I would like feedback instead of someone liking or disliking the video, but bye.